I get this question a lot. Makozi, now that I know I have a calling, does that mean I have to twasa? And people are terrified. What everybody is so preoccupied with is the shortest part of your spiritual journey. Everybody wants to be that kind of healer that doesn't have to twasa. I don't know which kind of healer that is, guys. I've never seen it. But everybody's hoping for that. Hoping to have an ancestral calling that doesn't involve ugutwasa. What nobody is understanding is that when we speak about having an ancestral calling, nyesintu, siti umuntu ukulela ilos. Nyesikosa utiwa unengulo. Kaspedi ir ukulela vadim. It's an illness that requires healing. It's an ailment. It's a malady. It is manifesting in a way that is not healthy for you. You need to be healed before you can be a healer. We get really preoccupied with Ugutwasa. Not understanding that Ugutwasa is not a lifestyle. It's a treatment. And that's what I want to talk about today. Hello and welcome to Sangoma Society. My name is Uhani Wagamakwakwa Ebaseni. I am Honey Tell a Story on all social media platforms and Nginguma Kosi Unomabuto Msamo. And this is Sangoma Society with We Demystify the Ancestral. And today I want to talk about Ubutwasa. What is Ubutwasa and why you have to twasa? You see, the thing with answering your calling is that when we say unobizo, you have a calling, it's not something that is activated in you. It's not something that you find outside of yourself. It's something that is innate in you, has always been there. It lives within you it merely manifests at a certain time and when that time comes that it must be addressed through it's not because of anything external but rather everything happening within yourself you are essentially like an out-of-tune radio and you need to go be tuned. Now, when the radio is being tuned by the person who's trying to find the right station, align you to your ancestors, get you so that you can transmute that frequency as the radio and the frequency being your ancestors and the people who you heal being the listeners, right? That tuning process, that just happens for a short time. Think about it. And then the station is in station. And life goes on. It can be transmuted. The signal can be transmuted. But now the process of Ugutwasa is teaching the radio how to digitize. So moving the radio from analog to digital. So sometimes you're having episodes, right? Before Uzotwasa, you're having all kinds of episodes and these breakdowns, these mental breakdowns, emotional breakdowns, financial breakdowns, health, physical breakdowns, are being explained to you as ingulo yehosi or ingulo yamatong and you need to go have your station adjusted so that you stop transmuting static because that's what's happening when you're having a breakdown you're transmuting static in a world in which everybody's radio is tuned in but your radio is tuned into a very your signal is coming from a very different source to what other people's signals are coming from and you need to be aligned with your signal that process of alignment is then what is going on 
right? Gusengwa ithozi. Gusengwa nawe. Because there's certain things that are in you, ideas that you're holding on to about who you are, what you are, how the world is, how life works, that are stories, theories that live in you and that you've developed or you've internalized from the outside world that are not what is true. And you need to be put into alignment with that truth in ways that only you can see for yourself. It's not something that can be told to you. It's not something that you can understand in theory. It's something you have to absolutely and utterly surrender to. And the thing with surrender is that surrender doesn't just happen. It's not safe to surrender in waters that may be teeming with sharks or predators and it's not safe to surrender in a space where there is no security for you so it also finds you the security through of their choosing and if you've really done the work and understood the messaging of itonga lako itlozi lako istunyo asako then you're sent to where you are supposed to be and when you get there maybe it's not what you thought it would be but it's still where you're supposed to be so you endure and why i say it's not what you thought it would be perhaps not because surrender doesn't come easily to everyone and a lot of people, they struggle with the idea of who they think they are. And they don't want to Tuasa because they think that they are in their final form. They imagine that what they are is the best that they could be, is all that there is to them. So they don't want to go through a transformational process that involves the death of the ego. And this is the thing. We accept that the ego has got to die in order for the awakening of the truth of who we are to fully take shape in us. That is through our ancestors, through ourselves as individuals, as more realized versions of who we are. And that's just the very beginning. It's just where the journey begins. The thing that people fixate on more than anything is merely one small part of a broader journey. It's not the entire journey. It is a treatment for Ingulo Yamazosi. You're ailing out of alignment with your ancestors. You need to go through the process of being tuned in the analog and your system set up for you to be able to tune in the digital by yourself, facilitate for yourself. So the process of Uwutuasa is to essentially digitize your signal so that you can determine when you're out of signal and know how to get yourself back in alignment. It equips you with the tools. Just like when you go to a doctor, a doctor gives you a treatment for a certain period of time the adjustments are within the lifestyle in order for that ailment to go away so for you as an individual when you haven't gone through the process of uptwaza you have no lifestyle adjustment information what you get out here is general information it can never be as specific as what ukobela can give you and when ukobela has given you what is irrefutably and undeniably vetted by inkundla to be a clear connection with your ancestors that is iskwama that you are taking home right there from there going forward your relationship with Ilozi is one which is in alignment. Ilozi has had its own spiritual awakening as it's had to travel through the veil and into this dimension through you.
traveling through the veil into this dimension there are things because it was a lingo mundo there are things that it was it needs to be reminded in the ratification of those agreements that you made with them before you were born that is what is going on it is the ratification of those agreements uktwasa is like the wedding and ukuphila nedlozi is the marriage the love of your life was always on earth you were always on earth but you didn't always know each other then you met you fell in love you realized this is the person i'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with and now you get married the wedding process that is ugutwas the marriage is being a healer but we get so caught up on the notion of ugutwas we want to get into a marriage without having a wedding we want no courtship just straight to it we don't want to work on the relationship we don't want to establish the boundaries of the relationship we just want a marriage that exists and serves all the parties without doing any of the work we're scared of that work and it's okay to be scared and yes it's it's a dangerous and difficult thing journey to walk It's not easy. It's not a walk in the park. It was never meant to be. It was meant to align you with your ancestors. Those who do not walk on this earth as you do. Those who are beyond the veils of time, space, and life itself. That was never going to be an easy thing. and it's not a thing that is bypassable there is no amount of inner work that you can do there is no amount of ceremonies on mountains and hills that you can do that will ever replace the observation of the rites of passage and ratification that ugutwasa is your running and any story that you might tell yourself only extends the term of your incarnation if not in this life then certainly in the next those agreements stand whether you choose to honor them or not and there's no story that you can tell yourself about anything on earth any aspect of this thing but the thing itself ugutwasa ugutwasa and there's nothing like it there's nothing that will ever replace it it is the rights that you agreed to pass through for the ancestors that you walk with in order to ratify the agreements that you made with them if you choose to bypass that know that your ancestors will be waiting for you it's you they'll be waiting for not ukobela not your child not whoever it is who told you whatever story that you held on to in order to avoid the unavoidable you'll be held accountable in this life or in the next it just is what it is but ultimately all for what for something that you only have to experience during the time that you experience it for the term of that process and then once it's done it's done then you are you then your ancestors have their place in your life and you're able to live out a life filled with guidance protection wisdom from beyond this veil and purpose your purpose in god your highest intention for your incarnation all made manifest why would you rob yourself of that all because you're scared of letting go of the ideas of what you think you are isn't that sad i think it's sad 
If you have any questions about today's topic, please feel free to pop them down in the comment section below. My name is Uma Kosino Mabuto. I am Honey Tell a Story on all social media networks. And this is Sangoma Society. You can find us on all social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as on our podcast via sangomasociety.com. Please remember to like this video, comment if you have any questions and subscribe share share if this has been helpful for you and until next time i'm so glad that we were able to have this conversation okay